Good morning, good morning, one and all. It's smoothie time, it's smoothie time. So I am making a coconut smoothie today, but I wanted to show you how I make coconut cream and coconut milk. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to make coconut cream and coconut milk. Now, if you follow me, you will have seen one of my videos where I actually show you a really cool tool to use to open the coconut, but I've already opened it. So you're gonna have to watch the video at that point. Just go back to some of my videos and type in open a coconut or go to my YouTube channel, Chef Regina Cooks to find out how to open it and where to buy that tool. But I love Young Thai coconuts. These are my favorite. Um, I can always rely on these to give me exactly 12 ounces of coconut water. I challenge you to open one of these and not have it measured to 12 ounces. It's a miracle. I don't know how it's done. I don't know how nature does it, but yes, you get exactly 12 ounces out of a young Thai coconut. So once you open it, the meat will be inside. So you'll have to just get a spoon and just scrape out all the insides. And what you'll get is this. It's, it's called jelly. It's actually called coconut jelly. So this is what I normally use to make coconut cream, coconut water, coconut yogurt. Now, what I normally do if, when I make coconut yogurt, that's an entirely different video, but I allow it to sit out and ferment. I won't do it in this video because I'm gonna show you how to make coconut cream and coconut milk. So basically, all you're gonna do is simply take the coconut jelly, you put it in a blender, add just a little bit of the coconut water to make it thick and creamy, and you have coconut cream, unless you wanna add vanilla. I don't usually add a lot of flavorings unless I'm about to cook with it. So I'm going to let me just position my camera so you can see it. Just add all of the coconut meat right there into the blender. I'm gonna add just a little bit, and you don't wanna add a lot. I would say a couple tablespoonfuls because you want it really rich, creamy, and um, thick. So let me just put the lid on here. I lost my little cap, so I'm gonna have to use something else to put over it okay and you just put it on blend I probably should have done this in my Vitamix but I use my KitchenAid for everyday use so as you can see it's really thick it's still chunky so I, that means I need a little more coconut water all right I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Let me scrape down the sides a little bit. This is really fantastic because if you saw my uh, post about the coconut, about the um, sweet potato souffle, this is what I use. I use coconut cream because that replaces the milk fat from butter uh, or the fat from butter and from that you get from milk or dairy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna blend it again. Okay, so now it's really, I can tell it's really coming together. It's gotten really thick. So, see? But actually, it should be more smoother than that. It's still grainy. It's just a little less grainy than almost, I guess, grit. So you want to make sure it's thick. And in this case, you probably want to use a Vitamix or a Ninja or a very high-speed blender if you have one. Again, this is my KitchenAid. I usually don't take my Vitamix out unless I'm doing some heavy-duty blending or um, nuts. You know, when I really want to do heavy-duty blending and processing, I use the Vitamix. But my KitchenAid... I keep out here every day. So I'm gonna give it one more blend. Okay, now if it's 
was my Vitamix, it would have been done in no time. But again, the KitchenAid. So look, this is almost the end result. So this is this is coconut cream. This is coconut cream. Now, if you wanted to make coconut milk, you just add the entire 12 ounces. Again, if you're just tuning in, I opened up a Young Thai coconut, which yields exactly 12 ounces of coconut water. Now, coconut water has lots of potassium in it. It's a great after workout drink. I'm gonna actually reserve a little bit if I can because I'm about to go for a run. And then once you open it, you just pour out, you separate your, your water, and then you get out the coconut jelly. So that's what I use as my base. And then I just added about um, a quarter to a half a cup of the coconut water. I blend it and that's it. That's it. That's what you're buying in a can, basically. Coconut jelly and the coconut water mixed. That's it. You're just getting out of one source and that's it. This. Now if you want to make coconut milk, as I said before, you just simply add the entire contents with your coconut jelly. You blend it and now you have coconut milk. So if you saw my video or my post where I made the sweet potato souffle, all my sweet potato pies for the holidays are made with this coconut cream. Yeah, I use this to replace um, the milk for some of the dairy because um, sometimes I want to eliminate the coconut fat, or I'm sorry, the milk fat. So there's plenty of fat in a coconut. So this is what I love to use, plus it has a great flavor. Now I'm going to actually, um, pour this and make a grapefruit and spirulina smoothie. I'm not gonna show you how, all I'm gonna tell you is that grapefruit, spinach, coconut milk, chia seeds, and I'm gonna make it very simply this morning because I'm about to go for a run, but I just wanna show you how to easily and quickly make your own coconut cream, coconut milk. I'm gonna do a separate video that shows you how to make coconut yogurt with a short um, fermentation process right on your counter you can make it and within two or three days you'll have a fermented coconut which is a probiotic that you, you can use for your gut this is a new series that I've started to address gut health people who are having sleepless issues and the possible connection between anxiety sleeplessness and your gut so Stay tuned, make sure you click the like, share, comment, and I will see you on the next video.